How's it going YouTube and welcome back to First Timers. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a microphone stand. It's called the Magic Fun Mic Arm. This is an adjustable scissor suspension boom arm for your computer desk or voice recording studio. This particular mic setup is aimed at professional streamers, musicians, voice actors, pretty much anyone that needs to use a mic. Now this kit includes obviously the mic stand, mic shock, mic shock mount, mic clip, phone holder, pop filter, table clamp, metal screw, microphone cap, and cable ties. Now the main reason I wanted to do an unboxing of this is just because the rating was so high on this particular microphone stand that I kind of wanted to do it. The review from Amazon is 4.7 out of 5 stars. Now before we get started on the unboxing portion, I just wanted to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button in the lower left hand corner as well as like the video down below. Now please feel free to comment below as well if you do have any questions. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so as we get started here, you're going to notice that the company pretty much used just a plain brown box and two stickers and called it a day. They didn't even tape the box closed, but you know what, that's okay. Um, like I said, they pretty much are offering this product at an amazing price, so I'm pretty excited to kind of showcase it here. Now, the first thing that we'll look at is going to be the actual foam cover for the mic. Obviously, to help stop with spit and stuff like that. Um, obviously, it's not going to work on my Blue Yeti. You know, there was kind of a little bit of hope that it maybe was going to be kind of like maybe a stretchier material, but it isn't. So maybe I'll put it on a different uh, microphone and we'll see how that works there. Now for their user manual, pretty much their user manual is one page, nine pictures, three of which actually tell you actually how to mount it to your table. The other six actually talk about how to mount the actual phone mount to the actual uh, arm itself. So, you know, that's cool. We'll just toss that to the side. Um, now, the pop screen itself is something that I was actually pretty excited about here. Now, the pop screen is going to be made out of a dual layer material, uh, dual layer mesh, I should call it. Uh, so I'm actually very excited to be able to actually use this guy. Um, and it should replace my original one that I, I got from my buddy a long time ago. And overall, you know, this is going to be actually a very nice and new setup. So I'm very excited. Now the old, um, now the old one, like I said, we'll probably put them up side by side so you can kind of take a look at them, and we'll uh, kind of go over both of them at the end, just so you can kind of see it. But other than that, you know, it's a pop filter or pop screen, and it should work just fine. Now I know everybody's here for the actual microphone, uh, microphone boom arm, or as they call it, the scissor boom arm, and I'm actually very excited about this here. Um, now the material isn't uh, gonna be like from the 70s or 80s where it's like a one of those old scissor arms for like lights But um, it actually should be able to hold the mic just fine as well as a cell phone um, But it is uh, nice that the material is kind of like a thin uh, It's kind of like a thin metal So I'm very excited to kind of uh, play with this here and see how well it works for the uh, for holding a mic now the material, like I said, as I'm tapping on it, it's just a box steel, um, so it's nothing that's super strong, so I wouldn't try to sit there and physically bend it, because you could probably bend it pretty easy. But again, for holding a mic and moving the mic in and out of the way, that should be more than enough. Now we're going to talk about the shock mount. Now the shock mount, again, is not going to be able to fit my uh, Blue Yeti. Um, but I would kind of want to try to uh, put it on there at some point. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can actually put it on right now because I kind of want to see if it'll actually fit on there. And I kind of won't go through the full struggle of me trying to actually shove it onto the actual um, shock mount here. But um, we'll just jump right into, you know, jump right into being on there. So look at that. It actually does fit it, but they made the mount just so tight that it'll actually hit the side of the Yeti. So I'm wondering if they, you know, a lot of these companies kind of do that just so you would have to buy a special Yeti mount. And um, maybe that's the case, I don't know. But uh, overall, the Yeti could fit it, but they just made everything just too small. And um, I can see that it won't fit standard mics that people might have out there, so that's okay. Now, the um, phone holder is actually pretty exciting because now I can actually mount my phone to the actual um, suspension arm, or the, uh, as they call it, the boom arm, the boom scissor arm. And um, I'm actually pretty stoked to actually be able to do this. Now, as I uh, sat there and put my phone in there, it holds my red magic just fine. I can kind of even shake it around, and I don't even think it's gonna drop my phone. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm very excited about that. 
and it actually feels very good. So I'm super excited about this phone holder. And um, you can also, it looks like it even has a gap on the bottom so you can actually charge your phone at the same time. So that is actually very, very, very cool. Now, let me actually get this box out of the way here just because I kind of want to showcase uh, how to mount this uh, mount this phone holder to the actual little rod here. Now, keep in mind this little kind of flexible rod here is actually probably the best made thing out of everything here. Feels very strong and sturdy, so I'm very excited to actually be able to use this on the um, on the boom arm here. So now I took off the ball nut. So now the ball nut, I'm or the ball, I'm gonna physically push onto the back of the actual phone holder, and then I'm gonna screw the ball nut on. And now it's gonna actually be able to hold pretty much the phone right on there without any issues. So that's actually pretty exciting, and that's actually put together there. Very simple, very easy. Now, um, like I said, this thing, the flex is very hard on it, so um, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be moving around too much unless I force it to move. Now, they did kind of give a little gift card here. Now, this is very interesting because it's like a lottery scratcher, so um, you can kind of win a few things. Um, I don't know if I'll win anything, who knows? But anyway, I have a scratcher, that's cool. We'll throw it off to the side. Now, um, the last remaining parts are gonna usually be the, um, looks like the little Velcro straps. Um, it looks like they have about, it looks like what, five five Velcro straps it looks like. So as I open them up, um, it's always nice to have Velcro straps instead of zip ties because, you know, zip ties, once you zip tie it, I'm not going to say it's permanent, but you have to cut the zip tie and then you have to get a new zip tie and so on and so forth. Um, you know, like I said, these are actually very nice because I can just redo my wiring and unstrap it very quick and easy. Now you do have a standard microphone holder as well that comes with the kit. Now that's kind of cool just in case if you have a regular microphone and or like a karaoke microphone, you can just slide it right on there and you can actually hold karaoke mics or regular mics. Now um, I do have the little metal nut which will go into the bottom of my Yeti so that's actually pretty cool. We'll worry about that a little later. And then now we do have the actual strap, or the, not the strap, but the um, desk holder or desk mount. So I can actually mount this to a desk and it looks like, you know, it's gonna fit my almost one inch desk just fine. It looks like there's a lot of room there. So that is actually very, very, very exciting. And then there's a little thumb wheel screw down for the, um, uh, the, mic, the boom mic holder stand um, to the actual desk. So that's actually very cool. Now, um, we might, you know, like I said, at some point, I'll try to install the actual thing on there, but let me kind of showcase the uh, pop screen first before we get too far. Now the pop screen, you know, is like I said, is very nice. We'll actually pull up my old one. Now the old one, you can kind of see that it is a thinner material um, overall, but it's been doing very well. So I'm not gonna say that it hasn't been doing well. Uh, I just kind of wanted a nice new one. Um, and it, this kit kind of included it, so I'm actually very excited about that, and I really kind of want to showcase that here as well. Now, like I said, it does look like my old one was actually a little longer, so um, that's kind of cool, um, but I just don't know right now for the extra inch that it's longer if that really matters with um, my particular kit here. Now the foam, like I said, will not fit my mic here. Um, you know, I was hoping that it would, but you know, or be you know stretchy, but unfortunately it's not. So it just pretty much will fit standard mics, and that would be kind of cool to actually put on maybe a different mic later on. So anyway, I do have that for later. Um, my Yeti, um, I kind of do want to mount onto the arm here. Um, so you do have to use this little, um, I call it, a, it looks like a brass adapter piece, and we just screw it right into the bottom of the actual mic. Very, very, very simple. Um, I can pretty much do it by hand. I would probably say still use a flat blade screwdriver to tighten it fully down, but that's okay. It could all be done by hand. So now as you're tightening it onto the actual boom arm itself, um, you should be able to rotate it on there about five or six times until it starts to tighten down. And once it starts to tighten down, you can kind of adjust what you need and how you need and how much you need and all that fun stuff. But once it's on there, you have it on there. And like I said, this will be able to hold the actual Yeti mic just fine. Um, Yeti mic probably being a l probably a little heavier than most um, other mics. Um, like I said, it's not that much heavier without the bass, but it just you know it, ha it has a little more weight to it than a few other mics. And overall, this is going to be very cool to be able to actually play with there. Now, for mounting the phone here, I just kind of want to jump straight over to it. Um, pretty much, there's a hole on the top of the um, boom arm here, and all you have to do is just uh, run this thumb 
thumb thumb wheel nut or thumb washer nut. I don't know what to call it, but all you have to do is just uh, tighten it down. And once it starts to tighten down, now you have your phone holder on there. Um, it does, you know, like I said, you might need to use some, you know, what's it called? Might, you know, what's it called? Use some uh, pliers or something like that to help tighten it down. But other than that, it actually will work very, very nice and easy. Um, let's jump over to the end of the video here so you guys can kind of see it in action on a TV tray. All right, guys. So overall, it's actually not too bad. Um, I do dig the, the setup of it. Um, the only thing that I do see is at the base, if you're going to want to rotate it full 360, you're going to have to loosen it so you don't damage the metal as you're rotating the piece around. Um, the next thing, other than that, it actually feels pretty good. The only parts that I probably will worry about will probably be these turn knobs. If you're using them a lot, you'll have to tighten them each time. But overall, um, it actually, for the price, should actually work very, very, very nicely. Um, right now, um, I am digging this phone holder. I did have to tighten it up a little more. Um, you probably saw me messing with it, you know, as I was kind of looking at everything. And it actually does have a very nice feel here. I also do dig that they left the bottom open so you can actually plug your charger into the bottom of this phone um, so you can continue actually using it. Um, and I do dig that, you know, they kind of, they made it go the lengthwise um, instead of the sides just because a lot of times, a lot of, you know, you'll have issues where you might be pushing the power button or the volume buttons. Um, so I'm actually very stoked on how they actually laid uh, everything out here. I feel like there was a lot of thought put into it. So I'm very stoked that I'll be able to actually talk and, um, you know, be able to watch my Facebook or YouTube stream off of one device here. And then I'll be able to be playing games and everything on my front uh, PC. Again, the only part that I'm just disappointed about was I wish the shock mount would have fit this guy, but obviously it's a different mount, which I, I get. You know, I'm, you know, it's a whole different beast where you have to mount it from the bottom of the uh, actual, um, from the actual uh, shock mount. But I'm going to try to maybe make something uh, on my own and see if I can build something that's very similar to this guy. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I kind of want to see if I can do that. Because the only problem I have is if I hit the um, if I hit the desk when I'm putting something down, you guys might hear it. I can definitely feel it in the mic over here as I'm typing over to the end of this little table that I have. Um, but other than that, I think I'm going to be actually very happy with this. Um, I feel like I already have an idea of where I'm going to mount it, where it probably still won't even um, have any noise because it's probably not going to be on mounted on my desk, but I am pretty excited to kind of uh, see how it's going to handle everything. So I am pretty stoked. Like I said, this guy gets pretty gnarly, you know, it's just a, uh, it's just a cool, uh, a cool piece of tech. Um, obviously on Amazon, they have other ones where they actually have mics that they sell with them. Uh, Hero actually purchased one, so he'll be doing a unboxing of his as well, and you'll be able to hear how those mics sound. Obviously, if you guys want to check out um, how my mic sounds, I'll uh, have a video up in the upper left-hand corner going to one of our game streams. So, if you found everything today helpful and all that fun stuff, and you want to stay tuned for extra tech stuff that we're going to be bringing out, definitely hit that subscribe button over here in the left hand corner as well as the little like buttons down at the bottom of this video now if you do have any questions comments concerns definitely throw them in the um throw them in the, you know down actually in the comment section i was gonna say in the description throw them in the comment section and um yeah i, I like i said I, i'm very impressed with this so far um i will try to maybe throw some throw some other videos on um on Facebook so go go ahead and go check out our Facebook as well those are in the description Facebook and Instagram um, and I'll kind of give you an update of this whole setup because uh, you know in a couple weeks I'll tell you if I actually like it if I hate it all that fun stuff like I said I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this thing just because once I have it set up it's gonna be on its whole it's gonna be on a whole different level but anyway guys thank you for watching um, again you know stay safe out there we'll see you next time and uh, yeah, anyway, see you later, YouTube. Have fun. Woo!